Hi, Crunch here. Mike Lucero. Uh, anyways, trying to fit into the camera here. Uh, I'm making my third video here that, uh, it, well, part three of a video series that I was doing on uh, modes and scale patterns. And if you saw my other two videos, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, there are seven modes and five scale patterns. And um, scale patterns are used basically to describe everything in music. All music theory derives from scale patterns. But um, the very first pattern would be the G major uh, or, or the Ionian mode, which is. And then the second one is the Dorian mode, which is. Uh, And then the third one, which is the Phrygian mode. Now, after uh, getting familiar with my uh, scale patterns, the five different patterns and the seven modes, which I didn't play them all, I'm just going through this real quick. I noticed that um, I was kind of tripping because some of this, well, all of them only had a, a certain spot where there's only two notes on the string. For example, the first scale pattern, which is... So you have one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And same thing with the Dorian mode. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. So I think you get the idea. So what I was doing is I was actually intentionally hitting one of the notes twice. So it'd be three notes per string. For example, like. And what that does is that creates some smoothness. Now, if you watch my picking ham, um, every other string, it's going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So this string will start with the down. This string will start with an up. This will start with the down. This will start with an up. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I try to think of it as six is like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So your one is always a down. So I was doing stuff like... But then I started doing other, you know, again with the other pattern. And I got bored with my playing one day and I was looking at the scale patterns and um, seeing how they overlap like pieces of a puzzle. And then I thought, well, what if I played right down the middle of them? What would that do? And I went, well, uh, the sweeping pattern. Then I later found out that a lot of people, well, a lot of your more advanced technical players were already doing that. I stumbled it on, upon it on accident because I was trying to do three notes per string when I came up to, you know. Now what I did on that last one is I just went. So I'm repeating where I just ended off at. Like for example, if I'm doing the Dorian mode backwards. So let me pause this for a second. So what I have here is uh, a drawing Sorry I'm not more technically advanced and I can't do all that cool stuff that some of all these other YouTubers do. But um, I'm showing you patterns one, pattern two, and then patterns one and two combined. And that's what I have right there. So take a look at that, freeze it, screenshot it, do whatever you got to do. And now here's the next group of patterns. You can see those and how I've combined them and played right down the middle of them. And here's yet another set, patterns four and five, and so forth. And you can actually um, combine all of them, whether it be pattern five and pattern one, pattern one, pattern two. But this is what creates three notes per strings, um, actually allows you to play higher on the neck, and allows you to um, uh, pick better, I mean, pick faster, actually. Okay, so hopefully by taking a look at those patterns, like I said, you can screenshot them or do whatever you got to do. Maybe it'll uh, help out 
Um, and I'm not going to explain too much because um, if you watch the first two videos, it will explain a lot more. So if you're just starting off with this video and you're not familiar with the patterns, you're probably going to feel a little bit lost. But I'm just going to assume you've seen those other two. So anyways, now another thing that I did that I got real bored of my playing with is, um, well, I used to do this thing called intervals of threes where you go and start with the second note. And basically what you're doing is you're skipping the one note in the pattern going to the next one. And start with the second note, skipping the next note, going to that third one. So I was going... And it's actually intervals of three, so you're playing nothing but major and minor thirds, but you're starting from each note, like play a third from this note, third from this note, third from this one, so on and so on. And then one time I decided, well, what if I just play every other note in the scale? And I came up with... And come to find out, again, that was something. Um, Pretty much everything you do on guitar theoretically is something, um, but I wasn't trying to create a sixth or some type of uh, arpeggio. Again, I was just bored with my playing, and because of the scale patterns, because I have basically like a template, a starting point, it gives me something to reference. I know that uh, it's like a safety net. No matter what I play in those patterns, I'm always going to be in key and just play them in order. So by just, um, again, by just being bored with my playing and combining things. And you can even uh, start one spot, slide up and go uh, the other way. So there you have it with that. Uh, there's lots of things that you can do. Um, and once you know the scale patterns too, uh, repeating um, little licks, for example, like, uh, you know, things that we do like. But if I'm in the second pattern, uh, the drawing mode, I know that I can go. And I just do that little blues pentatonic in there. But um, again, just by knowing the scale patterns and trying to get creative with them, another thing is doing the exact same thing with the third pattern. Do the same thing down here. And that's what they mean by playing diatonically. Um, if you're playing chromatic, you would be going. Which can sound cool too sometimes, but you don't usually want to go. So anyways, um, those are some of the things that I've used um, to enhance my playing that I basically just created because I just wanted more out of uh, just regular scale patterns and, and just being bored with what I was doing. So I hope that helps you out and uh, keep rocking on. Crunch here, Mike Lucero, TTM Guitars. Have a good afternoon. Mm -hmm.